Hello everyone, today we are going to keep comparison of nephrotic and nephritic syndrome. The key difference between nephrotic syndrome and nephritic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is characterized by excessive amount of protein in the urine, whereas nephritic syndrome is characterized by the excessive amount of blood in the urine. A kidney makes urine by filtering the blood. Normally, no protein passes into the urine and the blood is filtered. This is because protein particles in the blood are too large and too pass retaining the glomerulus. In nephritic syndrome, the kidney injury is manifested as increased permeability of capillary wall of glomerulus and too much protein to lead from the blood into the urine. One of the main clinical signs of protein urea is foamy urine. Excessive protein excretion could have low level of protein in the blood such as albumin. The liver tries to compensate for this protein load by increasing the synthesis of albumin, but at the same time it also releases cholesterol, triglycerides, and LDL. To decrease albumin in the blood also causes edema and fluid under the tissue. It causes the kidney to compensate the retaining more water and sodium. Ascites and pleural infusion may result because fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity or pleural cavity in the lung. Swelling on the labia which can also be occurred. Most often the fluid that causes the tissue swelling is affected by gravity and the jet from moving around. During the night, fluid accumulation in the upper part of the body such as the eye. During the day, one person sitting or standing. Fluid accumulation in the lower parts of the body, such as ankle. Typically, if there is orbital edema is not side, the first it is often to diagnose an allergy. Apart from albumin, there have also been a loss of protein that prevent clothing and antibodies that normally fight infection. This can lead to blood clot and an infection. In nephritic syndrome, the glomerular injury manifested by inflammation of glomerulus. About half of the people with acute glomerular nephritis have no symptoms. The same to this occurred the first or pillar tissue swelling due to fluid retention, low urine volume, and a very decreased protein urea and hematuria. To decrease urine output comes from the fact that the kidneys slowly lose their ability to move away and the fluid from the blood to make urine, which in turn is lead to hypertension. Hematuria are the reason of passage of red blood cell to get out in glomerular. So you would expect sedimentation of red blood cell protein but not to the same level as nephritic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome can be primary or secondary. The most common primary cause of nephrotic syndrome focal segmental glomerulosclerosis membranous nephropathy minimal change disease. The most common secondary causes include David Manitas amyloidosis lupus viral infection such as HIV. Number of drugs they are toxic to kidney can also cause nephrotic syndrome. Is anti-inflammatory glomerulonephritic. On the other hand, most of necrosis and the complications is due to coca. A typical developing in children in the age 2 to 10 after recovery from the infection. Other causes of nephritis, immunoglobulin A nephropathy, is the most common glomerulonephritis, lupus nephritis, rapid progressive glomerulonephritis can present with very progressive renal failure, good pasture disease, polyarthritis, murderous, wangers, granulomatosis. Generally, may urine analysis in the blood test. Laboratory test of urine collection is called 24 hour urine period is useful for measuring the degree of protein out. But the collection of urine inside an unknown period of time is difficult to many people to accomplish. Alternatively, to assess protein out, a single urine specimen can be tested to measure the ratio to level of protein to that of keratin. Nephrotic range protein urea in 24 hour urine collection is more than 3.5 gram of protein in the urine. A protein to keratin Keratin ratio of 2 to 3 mg protein per milligram. Keratin also indicates nephrotic range protein urea.
You don't have protein excretion very lightly in gram only 5 ticks but in generally less than 3 gram protein. Also present with hematuria, often described as tea or coca color given. Microscopic urine examination low review red brain cells that are classically dysmorphic as result of destructively pass through the nephron. They are called acanthocyte indicated of glomerular nephritis of hematuria. Typically, laboratory finding of nephrotic include low level of albumin and high concentration of lipid, sometimes that of normal concentration. In the glomerular nephritis, complete blood count used to determine of the patient is anemic, which may suggest hypoproduction by a kidney. And it also assists my GFR in order to document the degree of renal dysfunction. Additional useful tests depending on patient history and the physical examination. Chest x-ray suggests pulmonary edema and weakness good posture. In echocardiogram, may agent find cardiac effusion in the endocarditis. A renal ultrasound frequently obtained in case of decreased GFR. In order to evaluate kidney size, a kidney size less than 9 cm may suggest extensively carry. In renal biopsy is often used in nephritic syndrome for definitive diagnosis and distinguish between primary and secondary cause and also rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis and the level of inflammation and extent of fibrosis prognosis. First line treatment for nephrotic and nephritic treat the underlying causes diuretics decrease fluid retention AC inhibitor to decrease blood pressure to prevent worsening of disease and decrease protein urea. Diets decrease fat, cholesterol, and what sodium. Antibiotics is not recommended. Nephritis begins to one to six weeks after the infection. Corticosteroid is recommended for rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis, IgA nephropathy. Good posture, disease, winger, granulomatosis, lupus, cytotoxic agent such as cyclophosphamide, azatio, pari. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more of my video where I explain various medical topics, easy and understandable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to get notified every time I upload video.